What is the most satisfying thing you can do in Risk of Rain 2? Is it grabbing that wonderful poly loot after having a couple of ukuleles? Is it head stomping from the stratosphere and killing a boss in one shot? Is it killing a giant group of enemies with gasoline that Acrid just poisoned all to one health in a group? Today we look to answer the question. What is the most satisfying build you can achieve in Risk of Rain 2? The plan is simple. We take double nail gun multi. Obviously lots of shots. Love to see it. Taking him and trying to make the most satisfying build we can imagine. Now as today isn't necessarily about the skill or difficulty of the game, we are on Drizzle, okay? I don't come at me. This is just a fun one. And we have Command and Sacrifice on just to make the collection of items and the choosing of items easier. Our plan is to make a proc build so satisfying you'll want to like the video. And we are starting off with a ukulele because part of this challenge requires a poly loot. For our equipment, we won't use it for a little while, but we are gonna grab the Crowdfunder because this build is gonna be based on really entertaining rocks. And for our white items, we're gonna start off just with Mocha to get our attack speed up, make it a little easier to move in our power mode. We've been spending some time around here grinding up some items. We got our second green, which will be an ATG. And I think with that, we're ready to hit Teleporter for Stage 1. Let's get ready in Power Mode with 6 Mochas so far, so nothing crazy, but we do have pretty good satisfying damage. So that'll work. That'll work pretty well. And I think from here, we're going to continue to get Ukuleles. Polyloot uh, stacks how many times it gets hit by how many you have, so that's going to be a really important part to our run. Stage 1 has been completed with 4 ukuleles, 10 mochas, and an ATG, but we have a long way to go before the satisfaction starts to really come in. We do have a Void Seed, so the possibility for a Polyloot or a Plimp are pretty high. Our Void item is... a Polyloot. We immediately are going to see a change in how nice this is, but we have more to do. The poly loot is beautiful and it sounds great, but a plimp is also required. I do think we are going to add a cautious slug, not necessarily for the satisfaction factor, however cautious slug is quite satisfying, but just to make this run a little bit easier with getting void cradles. Our next void item is we get the plasma shrimp. Now we have that poly loot plimp combo that is just oh so juicy, but we have a long way to go, if you can believe it, until we get the most satisfying build possible. Another piece that we have to build up is regen scrap. If we have enough regen scrap, we can go and get legendaries every time we find a newt altar. It is teleporter time. As you can see, we have a lot more attack speed and we have a couple of feathers. Let's see how satisfying it is at this point in the game. That is pretty satisfying, but we still got some really, really good improvements to make this absolutely crazy. We have one left. Here we go. <laughs> That's an incredible noise. We got two more green items, and I know what we're going to do here. We're going to do regen scrap, and I'm going to hope we can get five of them before this teleporter event ends. We have arrived in the bazaar. Now, I was not able to get more regen scrap. However, I don't really need the feathers. Uh, so we are going to go into... What do you think? What do you think? What do you think I'm going to do first? What do you think I'm going to do first? We're going to do the Pocket ICBM first, and we're going to grab... I like this map a lot. One more thing we're going to do, because we're looking for satisfaction, we are grabbing a Transcendence. That way all of our health has been turned into shields for that wonderful Plasma Shrimp. Let's see how much damage we do to Mr. Newtman so far. Mr. Newtman, you are going to be a great test subject just to see, like, how satisfying we are. That is an extremely satisfying build to start. Let's move on to stage three. 
Now this build is pretty satisfying, but adding a gasoline in there just to light other enemies on fire is just a little more. We have achieved our five regen scrap and we've hit the newt portal. So we are ready to test the satisfaction of the build that is satisfying. Still more to add, including a clover and a couple more items that you may not even expect to be on this list. We are going to add crit to our build and you'll see why later. And now we grab the clover. We have a lot more reds to get, so I would like to get five more regen scrap to make that happen. We are also gonna do Siren's Call, just because I don't wanna have to farm for money to get the legendary. We can just kill Awu pretty quick. I almost forgot to test the satisfaction process. Let's see that satisfaction meter. Wow, that is a lot of projectiles. And Awu begins now. Let's see just how satisfying this is. We can. Get over here, here we go. The satisfying Polyloots and Plimp are going crazy. For our second red or third red, we will grab another Clover. Let's go do Teleporter. We have a double Mountain Shrine on, meaning we're going to get a lot of green items here. And I'm probably going to make them all into regen scraps so we can get a couple more Clovers. And then we'll focus on our Poly Loot game. We get two more Clovers out of this soup. And then, hello, here we go. Then we are done with our soup because obviously we are on stage five now. There are a good amount more items I want to get. So I'm going to farm those up on stage five to get maximum satisfaction levels. Here we go to the void seed. Let's see how this goes. I mean, so far it's pretty smooth. I'm not too worried. The build is satisfying. We have a little bit more to go though. Even just with the crowd funder alone, I'm not even shooting, we take out the full soulless control unit. And now you'll see where the crit comes in. The Lost Seer's Lens is a 0.5 chance to insta-kill an enemy. But, with all the clovers we have, we can do it pretty frequently. And we're going to continue to build that up as our only other white item. Now... We are double Mountain Shrined up. Let's see what this build looks like so far. Mending Soulless Unit I do not think is going to be an issue. And we are going to insta-kill most enemies once they appear. I'm just going to let the enemies pile up for a little bit. And then once we are ready to deal our damage, I will. And I will show you what we have so far against a big crowd of regular enemies like this. Here we go, we've gotten a good amount of enemies spawning around. Let's see just how nice this feels. Where'd they all go? They're all gone! That is beautifully satisfying as everything is eliminated from sight. It's all clear. Hello, sir! <laughs> and we are through to the moon. I have turned off damage numbers as I think the lag is causing for a little bit less satisfaction, and we're not about that. Here we go. The insta-kills are starting fast. These guys all get insta-kills, so hopefully pillars will be pretty fun. We have the crowd funder for range, which we really don't need much of. We just have to hit a couple times, and then it is over. Here we are, two more clovers added to our build for the very end. And now we can start to do pillars. I think this will be relatively simple. I'm not too uh, concerned about dying at this point, I'll tell you that for sure. You can just watch as we pretty much insta-kill every enemy that appears. Uh, there's not much that can take us now. Once these guys come around the corner, we will insta-kill them and it will be beautiful. Let's actually, let's go get them. Insta-kill you. Insta-kill you, insta-kill you, that's beautiful. It's just so satisfying. He's there, and then one little tap, and they're gone. Oh, Lunar Wisp, goodbye, sir. Whoa, talk about satisfying. Is that not a perfect little jump? I have no idea how that happened, but that's all right. 
Power mode, we'll guard our pillar with our lives. We have finished pillars, but I do hear a couple of enemies walking around in here, and I want that satisfaction one last time of the insta-kills. And up we go to Mithrix. If you've made it to this point in the video, let me know what you want to see next. I'm always trying to come up with new and exciting ideas for you like this. So let me know what you want to see in the comments and enjoy the Mithrix fight. Here we go. Let's see how crazy this is. Power mode. Look at all of it. Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was unbelievable. I'm going to keep the fire rate a little bit lower and just do one at a time. Kill every enemy very slowly. We do not have to shoot very much in order to get all of those. Ready? And shoot. And I stop shooting. No longer shooting. He still just dies. That is incredibly satisfying. As you can see, I'm not shooting at him at all and he just goes away. What is this? Oh, that's part of the Lunar Wisp. Here we go, one last guy. Let's see if I just shoot Mithrix once, what happens? I've shot him and I stopped shooting. No more shooting has happened now. We are not shooting anymore. There are no bullets. We do about a third of the health just by shooting once. We're going to do it again. The satisfying proc chains. One more. Give me another. Here they all go. Ooh, we got to avoid this though. And this could do it. This could do it. Could finish the job. One more left. Look at all the plimps and polyloots just driving to him. We got one more group here. They all tick away at the health ever so slowly. Ouch. There he goes. Now, we have to make sure we don't die here. Uh, a little bit frightening, to be honest. <laughs> I am a little concerned. Because he also takes Transcendence and all of the items. So if one of these hits me, I'm pretty much dead. Oh, we're good though. We just have to continue to run. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not looking good. This better stop soon. It better stop soon. Give me the items back. I think it's all over. No! Ladies and gentlemen, the build was just too satisfying. I hope that was an enjoyable video for you. If it was, give me a like. It lets me know what you like, what you don't like. So let me know. Go check out some other videos, and I will see you next time.